The upshot of our discussion then is that you need to know how to compute the selectivities for basic predicates and for logical expressions over those predicates. And you should be able to do this for the original Selinger version, where for a column all you know is its min, its max, its number of distinct values, and the number of tuples in the table. You also should be able to do it for the histogram version, where you have more fine-grained information about how the values lie within the column. Remember we made two key assumptions. The first assumption was that we have uniform distribution of values within histogram bins. Every value is equally likely within the bin. And as a result, within the bin, the fraction of the range of the bin that you cover is the same as the fraction of the count of values that you cover. The second assumption that we made is the independence of predicates in these expressions. And because predicates are independent, that means the selectivity of the and of two predicates is the product of the selectivities of those predicates. The selectivity of the OR of predicates is the sum of the selectivities of those predicates minus the product of the selectivities. And we subtract out the product to remove the double counting of values that satisfy both branches of the OR. And then finally, the selectivity of a NOT is 1 minus the selectivity of the predicate that's being uh, negated. Joins are not a special case in this discussion. So for joins, what we discovered is that you simply have to compute the selectivity of all the predicates involved in the theta, and then multiply that by the product of the table sizes to account for the fact that the input to the theta is actually the cross product, the Cartesian product, of the input relations.